How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and I must say I'm feeling good today. I got the sun shining on my face and it's also time for the joke of the day. So here it comes. I'm done with being a people pleaser. I hope everyone's okay with that. Come on. <laughs> the reason why I do these corny jokes, I know you probably had a long and stressful day and you just want to hear something that'll help cheer you up, all right? So let's get into talking about S O. Yes, we had some recent news in regards to their crypto mining business. And again, I feel that it's going to be a game changer for them. And that's why I am very bullish. As we saw in the market today, you know what? Bitcoin got beaten down pretty bad. But for the long term, I like how things are looking. So like I do in all my videos, we're going to be doing a technical analysis and then we're going to be getting into the catalyst afterwards. So we're going to be going into the technical analysis for SO. S limited. It ended up being down 22% on the day, but you know what? That was actually to be expected. There was a lot of things going on in regards to the crypto space and Bitcoin. They literally had a rough day. Bitcoin ended up being down a lot. And also the market overall in general was down quite a bit as well. We'll actually take a look at that afterwards, but let's take a look at what happened. So last night, as you could see here on the 22nd, we ended up finishing here around $9, and then we had a gap down coming down to $7.63, right? That's where we started off in pre-market. So as you can see, as it goes on, we see a downward, downward trend going here by 5.30. We're at $7.02. We have some movement here going up. Then we have $7.55. Then we have some consolidation here going between the ranges of 753 all the way to 735. So these were the areas where we were pretty much experiencing consistent price action. But now, here's when the catalyst comes out. Here's when the news dropped. The news dropped like around 8 o'clock. And as you can see, it caused some strong momentum to the upside. We were over here around $7.47 and ended up making a move to $9.18. And that's actually a really, really solid move. And it actually looks really good in a sense because this is in the pre-market and we don't have the same amount of volume as you would have during regular trading hours. So since the market ha was pretty much not doing that great, we ended up having some sell-offs right around here. And as you can see at open, were around $8.46. So we had a strong pop up and then everything just came crashing down. We ended up getting a low to $6.32. Very hard to catch that area like we know. So usually this was an area where it was around there for a bit. So we could see here from 940 all the way over here to 950, it was around $6.71. These particular areas are buy zones. The reason being is if we take a look at the RSI down below, we can see it's literally right at 30. So when the RSI is at 30, that means that it is oversold. All right, so there was a lot of people who were selling. Again, the market was down in general. So anyone who was impatient or was just couldn't stomach the volatility ended up selling out of their positions, right? Also, a lot of stop losses were probably were triggered as well. And like I said, Bitcoin was down as well. So now, this particular area, if you were interested in this stock or you were trying to build out a position, or maybe you wanted to average down from your current position, this would have been a definitely been a great area. As you can see here, we had a strong recovery. So all the way down here from 632, we'll start here. And we made the move all the way up to $8.71. And that was literally the resistance area. Because as you can see, it tried testing it right here at open and it got knocked down, right? Look, that's how we know these are areas of resistance. It never really ended up getting back to that area for the rest of the day. And as you can see, it started going in a downward direction. We got here down to $7.61. And as the day started going on forward, and again, there's more sell-offs and so forth, we're from here from 2.30, we get all the way down here to the low of $7.32. Then we end up having some moves going up to the upside, getting up and closing here today at $7, around $7.70. If you take a look at the Bitcoin chart, they're very, very similar. So 
One thing that we do know, once Bitcoin recovers, then SOS should recover as well. So as you can see right here, now going into close, which you see is a gray shaded area. It's at $8.25 and ended up hitting uh, after hours high of $8.33. And this actually looks really good, all things considered, because the last time we were in these particular areas, as you can see, was in the morning around, let's start, let's start over here from 1040 all the way to 1115. So if Bitcoin continues to recover and make its way back up, I could definitely see SOS making a move to the upside and also even gapping up for the next day. All right. So but that's going to be heavily dependent on how well Bitcoin and how well the whole entire crypto space is doing. So I just wanted to kind of go th go through that with you guys. Also, just take notice whenever you see the RSI, I know I got I want to keep telling you guys this so you're aware of this. When you see it in the 30 area, these are good places to add. These are good places to start building your position and so forth, all right? And as we look at on the day, you could have never you, you wouldn't go wrong by buying in the $7 range or buying in the $6 range and so forth as well. As we know like even if we look back and we bring the chart back a bit and we know when Bitcoin was at highs, we saw here on February the 17th, SOS got to $16.46. And then we had some strong support here. If we go across, just to go across here, this is around $11.23. So once Bitcoin is able to make some sort of a recovery, well, it's going to make a recovery because I'm very confident. I love Bitcoin. I believe it's going to hit 100K by the end of the year then we're definitely going to go back to revisiting these levels. So even if you are in these levels, do not feel like a bag holder. It may feel like that right now, but when it starts making a move to the upside, uh, you're going to be smiling, all right? All right, so let's go over the article. SOS announces the first batch of 5,000 pieces of crypto mining rigs gone live today. SOS announced today that the 5,000 pieces of crypto mining rigs, which were the first batch of delivery received on February the 9th, have gone live today. This batch of 5,000 pieces of mining rigs can generate about Bitcoin hash power of 175p. If the machine operates as expected, the annual ROI or the return on investment is projected to be significant based on the current crypto price momentum. Mr. Yang Dai Wang, chairman of SOS, commented, as institutional investors are also jumping on the bandwagon of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, we expect the price momentum of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum will increase further and we will do our best to capture this opportunity by creating more cloud crypto mining pools in the near term. And here they have an image here showing what it actually looks like. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more, but that's what they could fit in the image. Again, this is really good going forward. We saw that also get reflected in the stock price by that strong pop. And when Bitcoin does recover, I definitely see some serious moves to the upside. Also, let's take a look at how the market was today. So as you can see, when we look at the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500, it had a very sluggish start first thing of the morning, as you can see over here on the three indexes. And then the NASDAQ is still down on the day by 67 points. As far as the Dow and the S&P 500, they've looked to make some strong recoveries, but the NASDAQ is still down. And this is part of the things that actually had an effect in regards to SOS stock, all right? I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna talk about my final thoughts now. So what I'm seeing from SOS, I must say, things are looking really good. A lot of people have been downplaying them and so forth. And in regards to how the stock price is moving today, I'm not really concerned that much because again, the market was not the greatest and also Bitcoin wasn't the greatest either. This was just a great position for you to actually start adding, to start buying up shares. Whether you have shares already or maybe you just wanted to start thinking about whether you should buy some shares now, I also want to throw out the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. Like I said, we saw a lot of opportunities and hey, I took advantage of them, especially when it got down to that $6 range. So now what I'm looking forward, I'm just gonna be holding and looking forward to that upside that will be coming when everything recovers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be talking to you guys real soon. Peace.